Good evening, my name is Eric Bedour. I'm here with Garrett Hunter from the VZs. Mr. Hunter, you sometimes talk while strumming a guitar. How connected are you with music? Music, huh? Uh, I don't know anything of music uh, this day and age. It's more uh, uh, experiences of mine that have me uh, interested. Young kids love, really love the captain. And who's more mystically mischievous and brilliant in his own way than Bugs Bunny? Uh, Bugs Bunny was a Nazi sympathizer. Uh, the captain, uh, Captain Morgan, <laughs> the kids, who, what, what child doesn't grow up know uh, exactly who that is? Not a problem there. So where did you find Frank? Frank? Frank Franzetti? Uh, uh, I was on assignment. I can recall it was some political campaign uh, long forgotten back in uh, 77. Uh, he was there, stranded. I helped him, uh, brought him back with me to Los Angeles, and uh, I mean, the rest is history. I wrote about it in a book. Should have read it. Frank has some really nice pajamas. Cotton, light blue. Do you wear pajamas? No, I don't wear pajamas. It's, uh, it's uh, this day and age, too many things go unfettered, and uh, you know, children grow up soft, and 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 pajamas are another uh, inclination. You know, where I live in Aspen, uh, pajamas are off uh, all, you know, a recollection. My son uh, will not wear pajamas, and uh, if my wife told him to wear pajamas, then uh, there there would be a problem. So. Daydream Believer came on the radio when we were driving to the set. It was a moment of total happiness. It's a pure, happy little song. What bad thing can you say about it? Hey, I didn't exactly uh, pay attention there with the last question. Uh, Daydream Believer was, you know, the monkeys song. I don't particularly uh, entertain value in that sense. Uh, the monkeys weren't, uh, uh, you know, just like a watered-down uh, Beatles incarnation, you know. Nothing, nothing expands your horizon uh, like living on a hillside with a Maharishi Mahesh. Uh, the, these, these monkeys know nothing of, of, of true enlightenment. Something I've always wondered about is these people that you become for us or make flesh in a film do, they visit you ever or are you able to discard them? What happens to them? What happens to them is the same thing that happens to uh, you know all of us. There's 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 nothing left. You know, one of these days, you know, you're gonna die, and then then there'll be nothing left. And uh, if people could just move on from that, uh, there wouldn't be uh, so much fighting and so much uh, uh, disregard for the human compassion. It must be difficult when you have multiple personalities in one of them, like the Hatter does. What does he say? It's crowded in here. Everyone comments on this fucking hat, man. And I've been wearing this goddamn thing for how long? I can't even fucking count now. And, uh, you know, if you want to talk about multiple personalities, you know, take a look in the mirror. I mean, who's to say what uh, personality comes through at the end of the day is the real one? Uh, which one is a figment? You know, all these goddamn Chryslers driving up and down the street. No one can make sense of it. Uh, next question. The poem you recited was heartbreaking. How did you come to find it? The poem. I didn't write a poem. I wrote articles. Next question. Do you have any actors that you studied from the past, actors from any era who were helpful either in a specific role or just in general? Uh, I, I very much looked up to some of the old uh, actors, you know, uh, uh, Clark, uh, uh, Clark uh, Kent from the Superman cartoons. He was bigger than, I don't know how to say it, it's almost like the screen couldn't contain him. Does that make sense? It was a fucking cartoon, no wonder he can't contain him. The celluloid film deteriorates after so long and uh, the nitrogen builds up, you have a fire on your hands of mathematic proportions, you know, something that's gonna reinvent the wheel. It's not gonna happen today, but it certainly will happen. Throughout your life, you seem to have a beautiful relationship with your succession of mentors. You hold these people with you. Is that something that has just come your way, or is that something that you seek in life? Uh, fuck your heroes. I have no mentor. Uh, you know, everything I learned, I learned the hard way. Um, there were uh, 
sure times where I looked up to a certain person, but they're never around for much longer than a blink of an eye, if you count that. And final question, is that your grandfather you have ta tattooed on your arm? Uh, no, no. I don't know, I don't know how to, you, you pansy ass fucker, you come down here and you ask about tattoos and shit, and I am trying to get a point across and you're just blowing the whole interview. I mean, it's a waste of fucking time. <laughs> That's just great. I want to thank Mr. Hunter for his time and say good evening to you. Yeah, fuck off, I'm done. Take this mic off.